Good day. My name is Vasily Tarasenko. I'm a Russian attorney. And today I'll tell you what taxes Russian entrepreneurs have to pay. So if you decided to start business in Russia, this information will be useful uh, regarding future expenses during making business in Russia. First of all, subscribe please to my channel and let's get it started. So there are two main taxation systems for companies in Russia. There is also a special taxation system for agricultural producers, but it's applied only to the farming sector, so we will not talk about it today. So in 2023, entities have the rights to apply one of the following tax taxation systems. First is general taxation system and second one simplified taxation system. Under the general taxation system, a company in Russia must pay two main types of taxes. First type it's a corporate income tax, it's 20% of profits, income minus expenses. And second one, uh, value added tax, VAT, from 0 and 10 and 20% till 20% of revenue depending on type of activity. So about the general taxation system, that is all. The tax rates here are lower from 6 till 15%, but you can use the simplified taxation system only if the following requirements are met. First, its number of employees is no more than 130 people. Second, the annual income doesn't exceed 200 million rubles. Three, the residual value of the company's property doesn't exceed 150 million rubles. And four, the share of participation of other organizations is not more than 25%. And also, no branches. In addition, the simplified taxation system cannot be applied to certain types of businesses, namely, such as production of existable goods like alcohol, tobacco and gasoline, also production or sale of jewelry and other items made of precious metals, extraction and sale of mineral resources, gambling, pawn shop and uh, microfinance organizations. And here are also two types of simplified taxation system. First of them it's income, where all the company's revenue are taxed, and second one is income minus expenses, where the difference between income and expenses is taxed. In this case, the tax is uh, lived in all proceedings received regardless of expenses. The tax rate is 6% of income if the income is not more than 150 million rubles and the number of employees is up to 100 people. Or 8% of income if the income is 150 till 200 million rubles and there are 100 till 130 employees. The rate is 15% from profit if the income is not more than 150 million rubles and the number of employees doesn't exceed 100 people. Also 20% of profit if the income is 150-200 million rubles and the number of workers is 100 till 130. There is all regarding profit taxes, but in addition there are taxes that a commercial company will have to pay no matter how it is taxed, if there are objects of taxation. It can be also corporate property tax, a maximum of 2% of value and of real estate. Personal income tax up 30%. Also, transport tax, land tax, water tax, mineral tax, fee for the use of wildlife and aquatic biological resources and also trading fee. In total, it turns out that under the general taxation system, the amount of all taxes could reach 85% of profits of company. So, we talked about taxes for business and that is all. But let me tell you briefly about the forms of doing business for individuals in Russia. If you are self-employed, don't have employees and don't need a huge staff, then you can pay even less taxes. In Russia, there is a concept known as self-employment exists. If, for example, you personally provide tailoring, show repair, tutoring services or rent out your apartment or if you provide other small household services or sell your personal crafts, then you can register as self-employed. 
that takes only 4% when you receive money from individuals and 6% when you receive money from companies and you have not to pay anything more. So now you can choose type of taxation system for doing business in Russia. Hope you found this video helpful. Subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.